So today I want to give you a tip on keeping your muscles healthy for your back. So season one we made sure we kept our quads healthy and for a lot of women when they start to lift heavy they don't realize they have old injuries or muscle strains that are coming back to haunt them. So using a ball and massaging um, is really great. So you're going to massage using the wall and the ball. So by placing the ball, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it between my shoulder blade and my spine. So I don't want to massage the bone of the shoulder blade and I don't want to massage my spine. I'm looking for the space in between. Now, if you have a hard time reaching the way I just did with the hand behind the back, you could certainly put your ball in a sock. You could put it in an old nylon. I've had clients who cleverly will put it in a rubber glove and tie a string to it so it's nice and grippy. So whatever works for you. I'm in between shoulder blade and spine and now I'm going to go and explore that space. So I'm just gently moving up and down and sometimes we have muscles that are hidden underneath the shoulder blade and we have to move the shoulder blade out of the way which is what I just did by reaching to the opposite side and you're just going to move half an inch towards the shoulder blade make sure everything feels good in this whole space and you can move half an inch closer to the spine. Again, make sure everything feels good in that space. Nice. I'm going to lower the ball a couple of inches, maybe about two, to explore the bottom half of the muscles connecting shoulder blade to spine. So especially when we're doing our rows, we're doing our floor M's and T's and Y's and V's, using all these wonderful muscles, we want to keep them healthy. And so just anywhere that you might be rolling and you go, that's a little bit tender. Then you take that spot and you respect it and you go, okay, you deserve to be like my kitty, petted very gently. I want a purring effect in your muscles. So you're looking to just get enough pressure that you go, oh, that feels so nice. Oh, you know, like you were just getting the person which you're the person that's doing just the right amount of pressure that your muscles are going, oh, thank you, that feels really good. I don't want you in there going, ow, oh, 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 ow, ow, ow. That's not going to help your muscles at all. So be nice to yourself. Now, I've readjusted the ball to the middle of where my shoulder blade um, length is. So. And you, you know, don't worry if you're not like right on the spot, but somewhere around the middle of where you've been working. The whole time I was turned about five degrees from my feet, almost straight, maybe about five degrees. So I'm kind of following the contour of my ribs. Now I want to take that ball and go and explore the muscles of my shoulder blade. So I'm going to let the ball actually ride over the edge of the shoulder blade. I'm turning my feet at about a 45 degree angle. So now the ball is actually on my shoulder blade, specifically on my infraspinatus muscle. So you can look that up and you're going to go and explore and make sure that your infraspinatus, which is one of your rotator cuff muscles, that it is kept happy. And what I mean by that is that when you roll the muscle, it goes, thanks, nice pressure, feels good. There shouldn't be any pain or discomfort. And again, don't be alarmed if you have pain or discomfort. It's wonderful for you to find it before it starts yelling at you. Because this muscle is pretty notorious to not letting you know that it's the problem. I have so many clients that come to see me. They have pain in their upper arm. They can have numbness down into their hand. And it's coming from their infraspinatus. A weekend of shoveling gravel, things like that will just flare it right up. So you're just exploring, you're just making sure that that muscle feels good, feels happy. And if you can, you know, just check in on these muscles on both sides on a regular basis, that's going to go a long way to keeping your shoulders healthy and you staying lifting and strong for life.